Good morning, friends. I hope that you are ready for math time today. I hope you've already counted to 100, either by tens or by ones, or you have gone over one of our shape videos or addition videos to practice your skill. So if you've done that, then great, you're ready. And if you haven't, stop right now, practice, and then start. Okay. Was anyone that has a silly story for you today? Here I have some cubes. Can we count how many cubes are in my tower? Ready? Good. How many? Seven. Yes, there are seven cubes in my tower. But oh no! My tower fell! And now I have two towers. Can we see how many are in each of these towers? Let's see if we can do it by supertizing. How many here? Three, good, we didn't have to count. How many here? Four, yep, you could supertize, or we know that one more than three is four. So I used to have one tower of seven, and now I have a tower of three, and I have a tower of four. Do they still make seven? Yes, they do. And I can put them together to make seven. Look at what Miss Hamilton has right here. Here I have seven cubes. Let's count and make sure. Good. And remember, my tower fell. And somewhere in this tower, and somewhere in this tower, we had a tower of four. Mm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, to remember that, I'm going to color in four of these cubes. Just loosely. One, two, three, four. So I have a tower of four. And then I have a tower of some more. How many is some more? Three. Good. So if we want to write a number sentence to show how our two parts make a whole, or we can call these parts the add-ins because they get added together. So I'm going to use my red marker again. And how many reds do I have? Four. Good. So I know four. Plus, how many cubes are left? Three. Equals, and how many was my tower all together before it broke? Seven. Good job. So three plus four is equal to seven. Remember, we can also write that another way. We need to know what is the whole. Good, the whole is seven. So seven equals or is the same as four plus three. Good job. Okay, now Miss Hamilton has another silly story for you. This time imagine that you have these cubes and they're on your desk and you're getting to play with them. Let's count how many. One, two, three. How many cubes did you get to play it? Good. So you have eight cubes, and then you use some of them to build a tower. Show me how many are in your tower and how many are left on your desk. So I want you to imagine this, but Ms. Hamilton's going to show you as well. Let's see if we can do it so you can see my desk. You can. Here's my desk. Oh, those make a funny sound when we take them apart. And we have eight cubes on the desk all around. Yep, I checked. I made sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got eight. Now I'm playing with them and I'm going to make a tower. Uh-oh, that one almost fell. Now I have a tower. 
How many are in my tower? Five, good. And how many are left on the desk? Three. So can we show up here a number sentence and draw the picture that shows how many are in my tower and how many are left on the desk? Let's see. So we know we started out with eight. How many did I use for the tower? Five. So I'm going to cross out five of them. One, two, three, four, five. These are all now in my tower. And how many are left on my desk? Three, exactly. So if I want to write a number sentence, I'm going to show how many are in the tower plus how many are in the desk. So five plus three equals how many cubes did I have all together? Eight. Excellent job. And we can write that number sentence another way. What's my whole? Eight. Good. It's what I have when I have them all together. And how many were in the tower? Five. Good. And how many are on the desk. Good job. Hey friends, you are going to be doing a problem just like this in your home learning journal today. The first question is about Devin and he has some Spider-Man pencils. He puts some of them in his desk and he puts the rest in the pencil box. So you're going to do a sentence and a picture just like we did here to show how many are in the pencil box plus how many are on the desk to show how many pencils Devin has all together. The next question you'll get to show about some flowers. Flowers in the garden and flowers in the flower pot. I know you guys can do it and I'm so excited to see your work. So go ahead and get to it and let your teacher know or let me know or your parents know if you have any questions and we can help you. Capiche? Have a great day, friends.